A video recently surfaced online showing the execution of five persons by masked men in military camouflage suspected to be Boko Haram fighters. A voice was heard speaking in house before the execution saying that the five persons were working for infidels. The execution immediately followed his speech at the cue of another voice that said, Bismillah. The slain persons are believed to be aid workers captured during the raid in Mungunu local government area of Boronu State on June 13. They include staff of the Boronu State Emergency Management Agency, Action Against Hunger, Rich International, International Rescue Committee and a security guard. The execution came after the insurgents demanded the sum of $500,000 to release them. We're now joined by David Haber, Manager, Humanitarian and Resilience Action Aid. He joins us from Medigree. Thank you very much for joining us. Yet another strike for aid workers. How is your community taking this? Thank you very much for having me today. Um, this is uh, it's a sad time for the humanitarian community in Nigeria, and I must say that the, the thoughts and prayers of uh, of all of us continue to be with the families and the organizations that have lost um, colleagues and loved ones. And this are uh, unusual times, and it goes to tell you um, what humanitarian workers have to face in, in delivering uh, humanitarian assistance to populations that have been affected by conflict over the years in the northeast of Nigeria. Um, we are we are here to to, to serve. We are here to provide um, assistance to people who need assistance, and, and so we are sad that humanitarian workers have to be uh, targeted, have to be put in in a position where they have to go about um, providing and doing their work in in fear. And this is quite sad. We are we are saddened by this, and we we hope that um, people get to realize that humanitarian workers are not should not be targeted and they should be allowed to serve humanity the way that we have been doing. We do have laws governing wars even, and one of that is that humanitarian workers should not be uh, tampered with. Why do we have situation in Nigeria where aid workers continue to fall victims? Uh, th this is sad, really, um, because you would, you would agree with me that this has become an unconventional war, and that... Um, Different uh, actors are employing unconventional means of fighting the, the, the war. And um, it, 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 it would go to, to show the kind of um, disregard for, that um, people have for, for law. Humanitarian workers provide assistance irrespective of, of religion, irrespective of, of sex. We, we, we are impartial as per the humanitarian principles. So humanitarian workers should not be targeted. Humanitarian workers should not be involved in, in whatever politics or whatever um, um, contention that, that uh, causes war. We're here to serve. We're here to, to, to ensure that people's uh, dignity as human, human beings are protected. We are providing food assistance and uh, medical assistance to the most vulnerable and the most poor in, 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 in the Northeast. And humanitarian workers should not be targeted at all. It's quite sad, and I hope that sooner that actors in the war realize that humanitarian workers are not here to, to fear the war, but we are here to serve humanity. The, the issue of ransom payment has continued to pose a challenge. The uh, request for ransom to release these aid workers, uh, do you think that was genuinely made or just an attempt? Because it's quite a humongous amount of money to uh, request. Or was it intentional not to be paid? What, what is around the matter of um, ransom payment? Would they have been released uh, if that money had been paid either way? Uh, that's a, a very um, big question that I myself do not have the answers to. But I can tell you that um, the needs in the Northeast are so many. $500,000 is a lot that if a humanitarian agency had that kind of money, it would, it would rather challenge that money. Mm -hmm. uh, the needed assistance for the people. I'm telling you that um, there are people, over 2 million people in the Northeast, their situation in their, in their need of food assistance. That's, that's food alone. We have uh, people who are requiring... Um, protection assistance, there are people requiring health assistance. So the how can aid workers many. be so, protected? Because the work that they do is vital. Right. How can they be protected in order for them to be able to discharge the humanitarian service that is so crucial? 
Yes, we have to continue to work by establish um, security protocols that have been set in by, by the security authorities, including Nigerian security um, personnel and um, uh, operational security protocols. But of course, what we would appreciate and call is for uh, actors in the world to recognize that humanitarian workers should not be targeted. Human workers are independent, they are impartial, and they go about their work based on, on, on the principles of providing assistance to, to human beings who are in need. Uh, we are not actors in the war, and we should not be targeted. Well, the president has condemned the attack and says the perpetrators will be brought to book. We've heard this very many times. Does this particular one make a difference for you? Do you see action coming after that at least uh, some uh, sort of justice will be uh, found for these slain aid workers? Cool. The first thing is that the families and the organizations that have lost loved ones need to know. They need some sort of support at this time, but we hope that the government would would uh, would would take actions quickly to bring the war to an end. We don't want this insurgency to continue. We want to return to their ancestral homes and to continue to go about their, their normal businesses. So we hope that the Nigerian government would would intensify effort. Um, we appreciate them for the work that they have been doing so far. It's not an easy task, but we hope that they will intensify, increase their efforts to ensure that this 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 work is this war is ended. And that people return to their normal lives. That is the the the, the what the every day um, uh, resident of the North East wants. They want to go back to their lives. They want to continue with their their businesses. They want to return to their families. For many years, over ten years, people have been living in 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 internally displaced camps. People who had who were millionaires have been turned to beggars. So well, I let, think let, that let's is, hope uh, for the best in this situation. Hopefully, efforts will be made to end the war and there will be no need for the violence. Thank you very much, Mr. David Haber, uh, Manager, Humanitarian and Resilience Action Aid. You joined us from a degree. Thank you. Thank you.